Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, in the Safety Slash Sage. Welcome back. So this is my autism story, how I got diagnosed with autism. Let's go. I got diagnosed exactly two and a half weeks ago. Um, yeah, two and a half weeks ago I got diagnosed. <laughs> Woo! Finally, after years and years of battling... <laughs> Um, women, I know I'm not a woman, but I'm a female, a female at birth, so I'm female at birth. Um, females normally are a lot harder to diagnose. I think that they mask it a bit more. Um, I don't know, I don't know the science behind it or the lot, lost, lo I don't know the lost, I can't say that word. Um, I don't know the reason behind it, but females are a lot more harder to, to get diagnosed than males. Um, anyways, I hope you like my background. I've got a few Halloween stuff on the go. I've got pictures on my wall. Um, I've got some of my drawings slash paintings down there. Um, I've got my Jeffrey stuff. So I'm on the floor on my beanbag because I was tidying up my room and I needed to take out the chair. But when I was before year five, that sort of school age, ten and below, I was I think I was trying to get diagnosed. Um, I can't remember if I actually went through the test or we. I always thought I was autistic. Um, I always thought I had it. Um, so something I was trying to get something. When I was a lot younger but we moved house I, I'm originally from Kent I moved to Swindon um it was yeah we, uh, we couldn't get done we, we had to move counties is a long way Kent to Swindon um so fast forward until when I was 15 I went for an autism test then they this is real life they said i'm autistic without my hearing aid in i meant to wear a hearing aid i don't i haven't worn a hearing aid in years um i said yeah you're autistic without my hearing aid in so i was diagnosed with adhd because i fit in the adhd category and they said yes i definitely have adhd so i was diagnosed with adhd when i was 15 i still have that diagnosis because i still have adhd um so yeah and then um when I was 18, I moved into a care home and and I started to think again about it again. Like, actually, I think I am autistic. The, the doctors got it wrong. And yes, you should always listen to doctors. But when you know, you know, like, you know your body, you know mind more, your, you know your body and your mind more than anyone else, more than the doctors and more than psychiatrists. Like, they just read from a textbook, but you, you are you, like. So, fast forward to when I was 19, I turned 19 in prison. So, fast, fast forward to prison, I was 19, well, 18, just turned 19 in prison. And the mental health team says, you're autistic, have you not, di like, why are you not diagnosed with it? Um, so that really confused me. <laughs> um like you're definitely autistic so i had an i had an autism test in prison and they said yes you're autistic but i haven't got, i haven't but you need to do another test or i need to do it properly with an actual autistic not autistic person but autistic diagnostic person um and i and i said oh, i want to wait till i get home till i'm more stable and i could do it properly so I also had another ADHD test. That still come back. I still got ADHD. Um, so, yeah. So now I'm in Salisbury at my, my new home. And I just had a test about a month ago. Um, so, uh, normally the test, an, aud an autism test takes years. Especially in the adult team, it takes years to actually get a, get a appointment. But luckily, I already had to fast track from prison um so yeah I, I had the test um and they, the test went through everything mainly i think mainly it was mainly about childhood um that was the main the main thing about childhood i don't remember a lot of my childhood because of trauma um i'm trying to forget about my childhood so my parents had to, to do that for me 
so yeah they talk about um your diagnosis your medication um they talk about your childhood what your favorite interests were what your favorite food were and also now what's your special interests what's your like the food that you eat um your behavior um thoughts about animals um stuff like that and if you have empathy your feelings and mood swings stuff like that it, it was a very long process it took hours um and it would take more time if i did say the, my childhood bit um i'd said a little bit of my childhood the stuff i can remember like playing with like my dollhouse and playing with like you know the fake plastic food i remember loving that um, i remember um being outside in the garden i love the garden i love animals we had a cat um and we had a rabbit and i just adored them um autistic people love animals well most of them love animals because we feel like we connect but like we connect with animals more than humans so now i've actually officially got diagnosed i feel so much more happy i feel so much more calmer I feel like I don't have to mask anymore. I don't have to pretend like I don't have autism, which is really hard because I have autism. Um, yeah, I just, I just finally feel free. I finally feel, feel like myself. I like before I was diagnosed, I used to do things and I'm like, that's so autistic, and then I try not to do that again because I'm like, I don't have autism. So, I, like, and I try to hide my feelings and I hide who I was, and now I can finally be me. I have my lip pierced, I've done my hair like this, I can finally feel like Sophie or Sage, I just finally feel me. I feel like I kind of know who I am now and it's taken me years, it's taken me years. The whole process is really hard but the outcome is worth it. Or I was like this is so much effort, like look, if you're on the waiting list, hang in there, hang in there. Because if you get an autism diagnosis, you'll feel amazing after and the fact that you don't have to hide anymore is yeah it's good i think that's it i like i had a vision in my head that took me hours like talking hours about it maybe we should have like a cup of tea i don't i don't drink tea maybe we could have like a proper chat i don't know how but i don't know maybe i could just do like a video where i just ramble around about things yeah this fucking bag is absolutely massive i got it when i was in warminster and it's just massive so that is it for my autism story slash diagnostic how we got diagnosed with autism uh, thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe and comment below what video we did do next time i said that really quickly um oh i I can just finally have fidget toys. Um, I did have fidget toys anyways. But I feel like I'm allowed to buy them now. Um, which is so stupid. Oh, I wanted one of these for years. Um, um, I know that you're not alone. Um, we're not alone in this world. There's millions of us, I think. I'm sure there's millions of us. We all see the world as a different, different view to non-autistic people or non, is it neodivergent people? Um, but we're still normal. We just created differently. But we are, we all, we are all normal, and we all are the same, I guess. Are we? I don't know. We should all be treated equally, though. I think that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> see you later. Bye.